How Can I Keep From Singing? Uh, if you enjoyed on Sunday uh, in our worship, we had that gift from the Association of American uh, 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 Lutheran Church Musicians um, uh, on the day of Pentecost. Uh, we're going to post today a similar one, uh, Oh, How Can I Keep From Singing, uh, that we just heard a bit of. Um, appropriate to connect with our time of devotion today, No Storm Can Shake My Inmost Calm. Um, as, as our world continues to be marked by the reality of COVID-19 as, as protests and as uh, um, uh, uh, voices continue to, to, to raise here, uh, to, to stand and to, to proclaim um, enough, uh, we, we cling to, to Christ to give us strength, to intercede, for, to give us language to speak. Um, to our devotion today, we're going to connect with Romans 8. If you have your Christ in our homes nearby, if you want to turn uh, to the few verses here for our devotion today, this is in the 8th chapter. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought. But that very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. And God, who searches the heart, knows what is the mind of the Spirit because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. And then a devotion called Spiritual Strength today, uh, inviting our focus to that for a bit of that first verse, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. I've always looked up to my younger brother, who has excelled as a student, musician, athlete, father, husband, and homeowner. He has always been, for me, a source of inspiration and strength, a few years ago, he was at the movies with his two sons when he unexpectedly became dizzy, fainted, and fell. He was rushed to the hospital where he was diagnosed with um, Meniere's disease, which is thought to be caused by, in part by stress. There is no cure. Though my brother recovered quite well, he lost most of his hearing in one ear. Sometimes even the strongest among us experience weakness. In such times, we call upon God for strength. But when we feel so overwhelmed by a crisis that we don't know how to pray, then Paul writes, The Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. God knows the cries of our hearts and knows what we need before we ask. Sends comfort, healing, and life. An invitation to pray together today. Holy Spirit, when I feel weak, afraid, or alone, please assure me of your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. And as our day unfolds before us today, be invited to the continued prayer concern for uh, people facing new health concerns um, and all, um, uh, all of God's presence to be made known and seen and felt in the world. God bless you, my friends.